Rejection. Why did you come to write and, and deal with rejection? Because it, rejection is part of our life. There isn't a day that goes on for most people that they don't get some kind of rejection. Um, for those people in communication, we're always sending out stories and it's being rejected. It's not being printed, even letters to the editor. In jobs, we're getting rejections because we didn't get a promotion or we lose our job and some of it is not our fault. It was mergers or acquisitions mm -hmm. or something. And in love life, there's constant rejection. You know, you don't tell me you love me every day kind of thing. Um, the interesting thing is there's never been a book about how to handle it. How did it come to be uh, comedic, this term of well, rejection? Well, because I believe that humor is a powerful means of communication. And I think it's not what's taught at a university, it's what's caught. Mm -hmm. And if we can get our students' mouths open for laughter, we can slip in a little mm -hmm. food for thought. So I use humor mm -hmm. as a way of sweetening criticism or comments or anything else. Give me an example of how you use that humor in your classes and, and how you make uh, students When I first laugh. came here, one of the very first classes they asked me to teach was advanced public relations. And there was a misprint, and it came out as advanced pubic relations. The registration was 1,500, and those were only the faculty wives. Amazing. <laughs> Um, I just think you can help uh, your own attitude by being a little bit funnier. Now, are there times that humor is not appropriate? And the answer is yes. A lot of people say, well, humor isn't appropriate when uh, somebody dies. And mm -hmm. I said, I can't think of a better time. Mm -hmm. um, when I've reached my age, I'm attending more memorial services than I am confirmations and weddings. And a lot of people ask me whether I would do an eulogy for a friend or whoever died. Mm -hmm. And what I usually do is I go uh, and write down some anecdotes that I'd shared with that person. And then I go to the family and I say, this is what I'd like to say about Steve. How do you feel about it? And they said, oh, Mel. That's wonderful, mm -hmm. but we've got better stories than you've got. And I said, really, tell mm -hmm. me. So they tell me the stories. I get up and deliver a eulogy with their stories. Everybody loves it. You can feel mm -hmm. the warmth come over a crowd as they suddenly feel the mm -hmm. humanness of a, each person sure. rather than the solemnness that mm -hmm. comes with it. And uh, I walk off and people say, it was the nicest eulogy Steve could've ever had. could yeah. have had. And it's all done by being discreet mm -hmm. and being understanding of sympathy and the timing. But humor can work uh, more often than any other mm -hmm. kind of communication. 